Hey Scrappers, Tom from iScrap, and I want to show you how to make more money with your scrap. In front of me I have aluminum insulated cable. Now a lot of people just sell this to the scrapyard as is because they say, oh it's not the same as copper, it's not worth our time to strip this stuff. And I highly disagree, especially when it comes to big things like this. Pieces like this, 750 MCM size, are 100% worth stripping. You're generally going to double, if not triple your money by putting this into your strip bin. Now, one thing that I do at my scrap yard, when we're busy and we don't have time to strip insulated aluminum, we will actually save it. So I know a lot of you save different materials, you wanna save things up or have winter work when you're a little slow. This is an awesome item to save because you're almost gonna always make more money by stripping it. Now that doesn't mean you strip all of it. You see a piece like this that has multiple jackets and it's an old tar type of a thing. I wouldn't suggest stripping something like this. If you're doing it by hand, it's messy. If you're doing it with the machine, it's gonna get gunked up because you see how it frays. But if you have pieces like this that just have a single jacket on it, these are worth stripping. You're always gonna make more money doing it. We'll save these things when we're a little slower and we'll strip them at my yard. So why would you not want to make more money, especially if you know how to strip copper wire? Sure, it's about one-third the weight, but if you can double your money on anything and it generally isn't a big market mover, this is something that when you get it, save it. One thing I will say, the thinner grades compared to the thicker grades, it will get very sharp inside of your wire strippers if you're using a machine. So you might want to test these things out and I'm not going to tell you what to do because everyone's going to have different opinions on what to strip and what not to strip. But we always try it. Sometimes a jacket peels off really easy and if you have time and you want to make more money, you can do it. Just something to test out, see how it works inside of your garage, your workshop or on the road. Always make sure when you're stripping though, you got gloves on because you never want to cut your fingers. This stuff gets sharp. I'm not talking about thin rubber gloves. Thicker leather palm gloves are you know, normally pretty good. Let us know your thoughts, your ideas. Until next time, scrap you later. Thanks for checking out this scrap video. For more exclusive scrap video content, please become a YouTube member of our channel today. Thank you and I'll scrap you later.